The bill is set down for third reading next sitting day. I call on members order of the day number two. Domestic Violence Victim, Victims Protection Bill, second reading. Mr Speaker, the, I move Jane that Logan. the Domestic Violence Victims Protection Bill be now read a second time. Mr Speaker, every year over half a million New Zealanders are directly impacted by family violence. This violence costs lives and robs all too many people of their sense of stability, possibility and well-being. We remind ourselves that it's not okay, but all too often we're at a loss of what to actually do to protect the victims. So it's with great pleasure I welcome back my Domestic Violence Victims Protection Bill to the House and thank government members from the bottom of my heart for their support. This bill will provide employers with a framework to respond to the impacts of domestic violence in their workplaces now and provide victims with a pathway to safety. And it re-establishes us as world leaders in the fight against gender-based violence. Madam Speaker, there were 167 submissions on this bill, with 161 of them in support of the intent. These submissions came from unions, communities groups, women's groups, men's groups, human rights commission, children's commissioners, business and individual submitters. A true cross-section of our society. And I want to thank all of the officials, submitters and members of the committee who actively engaged to help develop a workable piece of legislation, which you can see in the form of an SOP on the table. We always knew the original needed some work. And I will talk through some of the changes that we've made in this SOP. So first up, it will provide up to 10 days leave a year to victims of domestic violence or people caring for affected children. And we've removed the requirement to provide a domestic violence document to be able to access that leave. And I'm grateful to the many submitters who drew our attention to sick leave and tangihanga leave as examples that we could follow. I apologise to the member. The time has come for me to leave the chair for the dinner break. The House will resume at 7.30pm.